Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 homebrew news and much, much more. So today, Gold Hen version 2.2.3 just dropped. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at the release together and explore each and every feature. Okay, so looking at the change log here, we can see that it says added debug settings. There is also an added cheat settings. There is added clog settings. And then there is a brand new gold hen shortcut, as well as there is now PlayStation 2 cheat support that is built in. There is also added Southbridge info, as well as an improved apt version detection, and then they have refactored the Gold Hen menu. Okay, so now that we've talked a bit about what's in the change log, I'm going to go ahead and run this on a fresh PlayStation 4 9.00 that was just booted up. Okay, so here I am on a PlayStation 4 that's on 9.00 that does not have Gold Hen running on it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do so like I always do in my videos just to kind of show you what that experience is like. I am using an ESP32-S2 device, which is something that I would highly recommend. But at the point that you're watching this video here today, all of the host, or at least all of the ones that I typically check, have already been updated to Gold Hen 2.2.3. Again, I'm using a self-hosted version of it, for this test here. So I'm going to go over to Gold Hen 2.2.3 for the 9.00 system. And let's just go ahead and spin this thing up. Okay, loading XFAT hacks. And we should have Gold Hen. Okay, there we go. Gold Hen version 2.2.3 has been loaded. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's go to our settings here. Up at the top is Gold Hen, and here is the refactored menu that was mentioned in the change log. So as you can see, there is a debug, settings, all the way to cheat, servers, K-log, and then an about. And again, if we go into the about here and go into about Gold Hen and scroll down a bit, there you can see where it says refactored Gold Hen menu. So they've made it just a little bit easier to work with Gold Hen and at least get to some of the settings that previously were just all in one single list. So let's go ahead and go back here and let's take the very first setting here. So we're going to go into debug settings and the first option here is for the package installer. And if we press X on that, Obviously, if we had a PKG file on a USB drive, for example, in the root, it would have picked that up and we could have installed that package. I believe now, for the most part, most folks are probably coming over here and using PS4 Explorer, either the first version or PS4 Explorer 2.0 to install packages. But again, that is obviously left inside of Gold Hen. So let's go back to our settings here. Gold Hen and debug settings. Let's take a look at the enable debug settings. So it says here debug options are useful for developers. Enabling or disabling an option may cause an unexpected behavior on your console. Use at your own risk. So this is currently showing that it is off. And if we go back to the settings and we scroll all the way down here, you'll see that the normal debug menu is not listed. Now, for the most part, I don't think most people really needed the debug options when they probably were just looking to install PKGs and maybe play with some cheats. So it may not have been a big deal for a majority of folks, but if you want to turn that back on, then you can. You can obviously do a mini menu here. And so if we go back and we scroll back down again. There you can see debug settings. And this is just a mini snapshot of some of the things that you can do. So I won't go into each one of these because that's a whole video just by itself. But here is a shortened version of that menu. 
And if we want to have the full menu back on there, we can absolutely go right here to full menu. And now we have the option to see everything that was listed. So now you can scroll through this big gigantic list. Again, this was here before, but something now that you can turn off. And I think that especially for folks that have kids or whoever that's playing with their console, this is probably something you'd want to leave off. That way they can't mess up the system. So shout out there to Sistro for included this much needed feature. Let's go back up to the top here. Let's go to gold hand and let's go to cheat settings. So cheat settings is something that's been around for a little while and you can basically cheat in games. So your PlayStation 4 games, as well as some even earlier PlayStation 2 games, etc., you can cheat in them. So now there is a couple of cheat settings. So enable the cheat menu, you can turn that on or you can turn that off. For the most part, I believe there is some folks that wanted to have the option to just turn that off. For the cheat menu combo, we have that set for long press share button. And if we press the X button, well, you can change that. So you could use a fast double press PlayStation button if you'd like, or you could also just turn that off. And then finally, there is this check mark here that says show cheat menu on game options. So if I go ahead and I go into a game, so I have God of War that is loaded up here. And here, if I just go ahead and I go back and I'm going to go to options here, there is the gold hen cheat menu. So what this would allow us to do is, is that we could come back in here, go to gold hen cheat settings, and then just take off that cheat menu. And now if we go back into the game over here and hit options, now that cheat menu is not there anymore. So this is a nice way that you could go ahead and either turn on or off that menu. So let's go back to settings and let's go back up to gold hand and then go to cheat settings. I obviously want to keep that on and I am enjoying pressing the share button in order to pull up that cheat menu or just like I showed you just a moment ago, I showed the cheat menu on the game's options. But again, there is a couple of different ways to do that. So hopefully that helps you out a bit there with cheats and your cheat settings. So now let's take a look at the server settings. So this is something that again at the beginning was just on one single page. So I can turn on the FTP server. I can also turn on my bin loader server, which would obviously allow me to send payloads to my PlayStation 4. And again, the first one here is just enabling the FTP server on port 2121 so I could send files to and from my PlayStation 4. So I'm going to go ahead and leave both of those on. And now I'm going to go down to clog settings. So this is more so for developers. For most end users, they won't be using this. But this is great for debug information that's coming out of the PlayStation 4. Again, for the most part, most of you won't need this. We're going to go ahead and hit circle there. And then we're going to go to about. So about, let's go back into the about gold hen, and we've covered the debug settings, the cheat clog. We haven't talked about the gold hen shortcut. So the gold hen shortcut is just simply up here. And now if you want to quickly get to gold hen, you can press that one button and you can get there. So from your main menu, you would just navigate up and there is gold in. So just a easier way to get into your settings. The next one that we should cover is more than likely going to be the PS2 cheat support. So you can obviously play PlayStation 2 games on your PlayStation 4. And this example, this is God of War, which I showed you just a bit earlier. And here is this wonderful game. And if you haven't played it, you absolutely should. But once this game uh, finishes with this cutscene, if you wanted to be able to turn on different cheats, well, obviously you could do so. Again, I'm just going to go back to the Gold Hand Cheat menu, and I'm going to turn on Max Red Orb, Infinite Magic, as well as Infinite Health. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to go into the game. 
and I'm going to get past this cutscene. It is so painful that they will not allow me to skip this cutscene. So I'm sitting here watching it for you all. Okay, and at this point, they would not be able to hurt me. So we're just going to let them slash away at me a little bit here. And you may see the green progress bar going down just a little bit, but I can assure you that this is infinite health here. And let's just go ahead and do some infinite magic here. And as you can see, the magic bar is not decreasing. Okay, so let's head back up and let's go to settings, gold in again, about, and let's look at the rest of this. Now, there is a added Southbridge info, which I'm not exactly sure what that is right now. So if you know, let me know. Otherwise, I will leave something in the description below if I find out between the time that I get this edited and then posted onto YouTube. And I think that's just about going to do it for the changelog. Now, there is one or two things that I found that is missing that at least was in the betas, and that mainly being the title ID and the app version for the different software that's on here. So for example, with PS4 Explorer underneath the start here, you would see the app ID as well as the version number. But that is pretty much the only thing that I've seen missing, at least from the betas, but it's really nice to have some added support for PlayStation 2 cheats. And there is a rumor, at least, that there's going to be an FPS or frames per second counter. That did not make this cut. So if you were looking for that in this release, it's not there. Anyway, thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!